Just out on the river, got crazy neighbor, crazy neighbor's brother. I uh, got my wife, my not crazy wife. Fire in the hole! Protect the bull! No! Oh no! You okay there, Steve? We survived. We got a river right here to wash the dogs off in, so that's perfect. If I do this wrong, I could be circumcised. Yeah, well, but after the last girl you're in your circumcision, you're used to the pain, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you get that, Dave? <laughs> right in my face. <laughs> I'm out for a spring camping trip in the mountains. Crazy neighbors offered to come along. Safety first. My thumb! Oh no. We should have brought a first aid kit. Why would they call you a crazy neighbor? They prefer that to Browner. Can I call you Browner? Nope. All right. Woo! Yeah! Take a step back, Steve. I'm not in the picture. Take a step back. Okay. One more. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy neighbor's always behind the camera just doing some action to make me laugh. Well, look at that. Like, fairly close to the campsite. Just needs a little bit of a uh, pine saw. That'll be, that'll be just dandy. Just loaded in this birch here. And if you see the markings on it, that's a... Uh, Evidence of the world's most dangerous animal, man. So right here is where I exactly I would come if my cooler wasn't performing so fantastically. It is still frozen, 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 four days in. But if I need to fill it up, plenty of snow here. We need water. We're on the bridge right now. We found a spot. Everything could go tragically wrong here. I think we've got lots. Oh, yeah. Oh, great. I love it when people litter. Look at this. That's the third time. Alkaline spring water. Unbelievable. Yeah, we're picking all this stuff up because that's a surefire way. If people do this, they're going to start closing all these roads and trails if people trash them. And I think I'm going to stick a gold pan into that river tomorrow. Ignite without too much of a problem. And, of course, you're camping with Steve. We found a lake. Campfires prohibited. Day use only. Yeah, they sound like fun people. These are not going to support my weight. Beautiful lake, though. It's, uh, we just thought we'd come check this lake out because it was close by to where we're camped. And, of course, crazy neighbor found an outhouse here. And uh, he dropped his bear spray in it. So <laughs> we're now we're, we're operating with one bear spray, and yeah. So be careful with your bear spray if you're using an outhouse. If you don't know how to tie knots, tie lots. I don't know how to tie knots. I'm going to pick up this end, right here, as you pick up that end and walk that way and then you get to about here and you plant it in the ground. Green died. It's so oh, that's okay. Okay, all right. Keep this part of the pan at the lowest spot because that's where the gold's going to collect. It's down to the point when I'm test panning that I can actually just start back panning this. You can actually see some gold particles right in there. Now I'm colorblind, so I don't know what you can see, but. Successful little bit of gold panning there. Now you're gold mining with Steve. If you haven't subscribed and you like it, you know what to do. And if you don't like it, you can also subscribe. Thanks a lot. Now you're camping with Steve. <sighs> Mosquitoes are out, so time to start the fire. That should drive them away.
Well, you got a knack for lighting fires, Steve. Oh, thanks, crazy Nate. You're local around here? <laughs> yeah, just out driving around looking for bears. <laughs> That's kind of what we're doing, too. <laughs> Sorry, the camera in the face. We're just, I got a YouTube channel. We're filming. Oh, little, no problem. A little bear expedition. Bear I'm wanted expedition. in several states. One's a state of sobriety. Oh, well, <laughs> you came to the right place. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, too. And your awesome cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy neighbor. Well, hey campers, today is the day of... Bacon and beans. It's been an awesome trip, but oh man, time to pack up and head home. with Steve. Uh, this is not my normal type of camping, but we're here, so we're gonna ride a quad around. It'll be fun. <laughs> this is our camping raft. I'm at Crazy Neighbors right now. Crazy Neighbors doing the camera work. There is no build sheet for it. There's no instructions, and I didn't want to do a step-by-step -step on how to build this because we're really not even sure how we're doing it ourselves. We got the 18 horse on the back, which should hopefully push this up the river. It floats real good, yeah. Floats quite fine. It's pretty stable. It is. Seems to turn on a dime. Just trolling along on the or the lake, we're not on the river. And crazy neighbors got some barbecuing happening here. We're gonna have some smokies. Hey. Successfully back on the trailer. Sea trials were a great success. I'm back at Crazy Neighbors compound here. We've added these diverters onto the front. Oh, Crazy Neighbors grabbing the camera. Awesome. We had no idea what we were doing. We actually started out with just a few pallets for this mobile camping secret loophole platform. This thing is gonna set sail, throwing a tent on there, a fire pit up front, and we'll be camping within city limits, legally, I think, on this raft. so far. We're gonna try and clear off this floor here because we got all these upright structures. I'm in. Beautiful day on the lake. bacon right on the boat. Didn't bring a little stove, so the barbecue's working just fine for this pan frying that. Here with Crazy Neighbor and the HMCS hunker down, launched beautifully. Time to Tom Sawyer it down this river for a couple of days. Crazy Neighbor sails and I'm pulling up Google Earth satellite view so I can see where the low spots are here. Woo! Now you're camping with Steve. Kind of, we're on a boat. But we will be camping. We made it to our island. We were going to go a little further tonight to a better island, but it's getting dark and it's stormy. to the next island and we'll be camping again. We 
can't fight this current, we're stuck. So we're gonna have to probably turn around and maybe camp on a shore somewhere. Oh, it's crazy neighbor. Crazy neighbor. And yeah, we've tied up at both ends of the boat. Nice and cozy inside the shack, the floating shack on the river. Get in there, crazy neighbor. They're not getting any warmer. I'm in. I'm All in. right. Mm. Mm. It looks awesome, see. Oh, it's like heaven. It's like heaven. So what I'll do is I'll just yank this one rope. When it's ready. I'll preemptively put on those boots. Yep. Far nicer going downstream versus trying to fight it on the way up. Man, I could get used to this. Made it without killing ourselves. We're gonna back up the trailer and get this loaded up. Everything is nicely set up here, so time for step two. Step two is beer. Cheers, crazy neighbor. Cheers, Steve. And time to let the hunkering down begin. Trains are a little noisy. Could be a long night, we'll see. <laughs> kind of makes it look like we're out here working on something in here, but what we're really working on is eggnog. Here's Christmas. Yes, it's Christmas indeed. As long as we don't look like we don't belong here, I think we'll be okay. As long as we don't get out of the tent and start running. Yeah. There he is. There he is. No. Okay, sir. Yes. Barbecue sauce. That's where you go. Crazy neighbor. You can film this on your own time. Thank you, though. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Captain John stopped by here as well. Sloppy Joe sounds like a children's meal that tastes like ketchup, but when you use beer and barbecue sauce, it helps everything out. You need some crazy neighbor? Let's after get you, you fixed. After you? After you. Oh, okay. All Age right. before okay. beauty. All right. Let's get you fixed. Okay. Just let me slash my bud here. Okay, sounds good. Front. All right. Okay. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks good. Awesome. You got cheese right there. Oh yes. Mmm. Delicious. Really good, it's a really good thing. Mm. The trains have given us a couple minutes of silence. We got a little bit of reprieve from the trains right now, but trust me, that's not going to last. We haven't had any problems from the rail police. We haven't had any problems from the police police. So I think we're going to be okay for the night. We're hitting the hay. See you guys in the morning. This is about the most real fire that we've ever started. <laughs> if, it, if it starts. Yeah. That's I think that's how you know it's a slow news day. <laughs> I think it might work. Alright. Do it again. Hug to the world. The crazy neighbor salute. Yep. You perfected it. Yep, practice makes perfect. Let's see it again. It was a little bit tricky to start this because the news crew was filming and everything, so they were normally a little bit better with that, but we had to move around and do different things and get different shots. So anyway, fire time. This will be nice. An Edmonton camper with a major online following. People are, are watching them from Australia, the United Kingdom, 
So, we were going to cook on here. It looks like we're going to hit the ice shack again because it's, yeah, it's way too cold out here. We, Ooh. and we're budgeting our propane. We don't know how much propane we actually have left. It's an adventure. Uh, let's get Very back. Very cold adventure. Cold adventure. We're going to get back in and maybe we'll watch the newscast again because that was fun to watch. <laughs> but way too cold, guys. Yeah. Me too. Out of here. The snow is building up. Yeah. I'm find my shoes. Holy crap. <clears throat> Snow builds up on the roof, and then it's just a matter of shaking it off. I'm sure these are inappropriate for this type of snow. We, both of us haven't been on snowshoes in Puerto Rico. Here, you yeah. know? All right. Yeah, both of us haven't been, I think maybe in grade school I was on snowshoes, but I guess before you go into the forest, uh, try them out for a little bit. Look out for tree stumps, because that's an ugly one. Yeah. Get your eyes up if you can. Yeah. Cross, oh, this one? Poke back towards you. No, 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 towards you. This is towards me. Oh, sorry. Just rip them down with your bare hands. Now you're camping with Steve. We're going to continue this build well into the evening under the cover of darkness. Perfect thing for if you don't have a permit, just build it in the middle of the night in the dark, right? <laughs> Johnsonville smoked sausages. Wait, crazy neighbor. Hey, Steve. In some beer, because yeah, way too exhausted today. That was a uh, that was a big day. That was. <laughs> Warm it up in here, nice. Yeah, no, that's true. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. I'm gonna sleep so good. Oh yeah. I can't believe we got this back in the bag. <laughs> well, we only tried to set it up a little bit. Oh, I hear something clunking and thunking in here. Good. Okay, I think that's the ground sheet or something. We're cutting piles, making memories that last in our 40 year old tent. Having a blast. Building a big fire, flames reaching higher. Cause they gon' stick, that's how we roll tonight, tonight. You know, it's actually kind of a cool day. It's like 17 Celsius. We're we're not even at like 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So, yeah. Huh. <sighs> Smells good, hey? Really good. Really good. Mm. Mm. Let's stick this in the fire and oh, see what that happens. for you. You want to okay, roast that go. up? Thanks so All much, right. Steve. Just did the first batch. Pretty oh, nice and awesome. rare. Pretty nice and rare by the looks of it. Oh, look, I got some protein. Oh, yeah. Steak. Mm -hmm. I'll grab a hunk of steak myself. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to be pretty rare. Mm. Really good. Yeah. That's the way I like it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Things are gonna be pretty good around here. 
Oh, is this ever delicious. Crazy Neighbor is going to hunker down in his Suburban right now. I gotta crawl into this thing. This little group use shelter is all the shelter we're gonna need. It will be pretty cold tonight, I think, but look at this bad boy. This is like a, I've never seen a wood stove this big in my life before. Biggest one ever. <laughs> Can't you read? Don't go in there. <laughs> I think that's what I was, yeah. Come down the trail here. Oh, it's crazy neighbor. Yeah, we blocked off the trail with this danger tape. Whoa, I'm close line by myself. Oh, sorry, Steve. Spread her out and get the fluff going. In the industry, I think they call it loft. And uh, oh, what? Loft, um, in a sleeping bag. That's oh, 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 oh. It gives you the insulation power that you're gonna oh, need okay. in a cook shack. Oh, there's bugs everywhere. Definitely means that it is time for a frosty delicious. What do you think? <laughs> this is the step two. Well, Thank you, Steve. Yeah, it's a frosty delicious beverage. So, yeah. Cheers. Crackers at home. And uh, yeah, we're going to get cooking here in a sec. Um, I have not heard a car go around anywhere here. I think we're in pretty good situation here as far as just blatantly trying to be stealthy. Well, well, it's not really blatant, it kind of just took over the place. Well, at any rate, uh, yeah, I, th I think it's pretty good. How does it taste? Yeah, it's awesome, see? It's just awesome. Fantastic. Delicious turkey stew soup. I cook a lot of stuff uh, that turns out to feed an army, apparently. Would you like a big... Slicer, a small slicer. Big. Big, huh? Big, yeah. Hey, actually, big. actually, no. I'll have two smalls. Two smalls. That two that works smalls. out to bigger than a big. It does, yeah. <laughs> oh, very sneaky. I'm a pumpkin pie pig. Very sneaky. Very right. sneaky. <laughs> very sneaky. We're all good, yeah. So, would you like a little bit of... Uh... No, I want a lot. There you go. Oh, I want a lot. Okay. Oh, much good. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, that's enough, Steve. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Oh, thankful for the oh, the pumpkin pie. Thankful for yeah. I'm just generally thankful. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, guys. All right. Okay. Definitely a cop. Oops, that was the flashlight. Turn off the light, Glenn. Oh, crazy neighbor. There he is again. Get down. Get down, Murray. He's coming this way. Well, hopefully, when he sees that red danger tape, he doesn't cross it. No, I hope not. He's still out there. You can still see the light. Let's get down. Mm -hmm. Still see his lights. Get down here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Time to chill. It's time to chill. Uh, we're just hiding out here. I can hear his engine running, but he definitely had his spotlight on going up and down the, uh, the road there. I don't know if uh, <laughs> the danger things made him think twice or if we had too many lights on in here. But we're just going to wait for him to put away and I think we'll all be good. If anybody watching this works here at this park and you recognize it, I'm sorry. But when I saw the cook shack, it was just so tantalizing. It won't happen again and we're cleaning everything up nicely. Welcome to camping with Steve and Crazy Neighbor today. We came back out to what we'd set up last week. We were experiencing some very low temperatures, minus 35 or so. And uh, yeah, midways through filming, uh, we did get a call at Crazy Neighbor's Father had passed. So um, thank you to all those who have uh, expressed condolences and donated to the veterans, uh, uh, the veterans, etc. Um, 
Uh, shelter set up. We got our little fire pit area here. Time for delicious step two. Delicious, nutritious. Delicious, step nutritious. Two. Oh yeah, rehydrating. Uh, yeah, cheers. Cheers, Steve. Uh, my readings on my temperature tron say outside is minus six Celsius, which is 21 Fahrenheit. And inside is uh, actually just jumped up to 18 Celsius, which equals 64 Fahrenheit. So, toasty. Um, <laughs> I'd say it's toasty. Hold my beer. Absolutely. An issue. <laughs> oh, flashback. Okay. Smell of kerosene uh, barbecue starter. I love that stuff. I do too. <laughs> well, I gotta say, Steve, you got a knack for lighting fires. Thanks. You ever seen a UFO? Uh, yeah, I have. Yeah? yeah. I don't know if it was like aliens. That's just something that I didn't know what it was, but it was pretty weird. Maybe a satellite or something. No, not really. Hmm. We're in southern Alberta antelope hunting and beautiful sunny day and we saw this thing up in the sky it looked like a, a football and then there was this spiral of smoke coming down off of it. Hmm. No matter what problems you may have in your life, uh, you can never go wrong with onions. This seems to fix everything. Here's the deal. Uh, we got the tripod over top of the Mr. Buddy heater, and uh, it's been simmering for a little bit here. It's uh, it's perfect. Uh, what can I say? We're both shocked about this, hey? Very much so. It's working um, great. <laughs> I, d I didn't think it would work that good. Uh, We've got uh, cardboard down on the ground here. I know. What could go wrong? Um, we're just trying to keep the snow from melting uh, right underneath of it and creating a mud puddle. Crazy neighbor had suggested <laughs> the cardboard. And uh, I'm allowing it, but I'm keeping a close eye on the suggestion here because uh, of the whole what could go wrong aspect of what we're trying to do here. Oh, look at that meat. It's flaking apart already. Awesome. Yeah, it's just fine. I didn't do mixed vegetables because they had parsnips in them. <laughs> parsnips? <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, I couldn't believe it. You ever eaten a lemon before like it was an orange? Oh, yeah. <laughs> really? Just peel yeah. it and eat it by the segments. Yeah, it's just like an orange. It's not that bad. <laughs> not that bad. The only reason I ever did that was because in my younger days, drinking tequila, we were always drinking the tequila okay, with the, yeah. the lemons. And <laughs> just for, I'll call it shits and giggles one time, we decided, okay, well, let's just, you know, see if we can eat a lemon like an orange. And yeah, it should be done. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> not that bad. No, that's the best way to describe that, no. the best way to describe a food. Not that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mercy. Yeah. Well, what's the worst thing you've ever eaten? Uh, I made uh, iced tea with pickle juice out of a pickle oh, jar. My God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't it's do good thing we haven't eaten yet because that would make me hurl, Steve. <laughs> iced tea with pickle juice. <laughs> <laughs> to put the crystals right into the the juice out of a pickle jar. Is they called me crazy? <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm working at a soup kitchen here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so flaked apart. Okay, grab that guy there. I'll get a fork for you. I'll spoon in a little for myself here. Oh wow, it's like. Old beef, it really is. The tray buns. Yeah. There we are. I'm sure actual chefs would be horrified um, by, <laughs> by what we did. 
I think is probably the good uh, use of the word. We've made the decision the cardboard's going to come out of here. The Mr. Buddy heater is listing already. You know, we'll get it level and it should provide stoichiometric combustion throughout the rest of the night, hopefully. So that was a successful propane powered slumber here. Uh, you're warm last night. I was, I was toasty warm. I had to toasty actually, warm. Yeah, I had to, good. I had to turn the heat down uh, as soon as the sun came up. Stew for breakfast because we made way too much stew. Um, <laughs> it's crazy neighbor. <laughs> hey, Steve. My phone rang this morning, and uh, it was crazy neighbor. And I said, he says, "What are you doing?" And I said, "Well, you know the usual." sleeping in a culvert, and he says, oh, well, I'll come pick you up. So he's going to swing by, um, which is good because I didn't want to walk the two kilometers after zero sleep and freezing cold. So I just, you know, hunker down here and wait for him to pull up uh, over top, load all the stuff out of this tube, and uh, go eat some breakfast. Yeah, no sign of crazy neighbor. Bustling day in the village this uh, this Monday All right, that's Crazy Neighbor. And um, he just drove right on past me. Hey, hey Steve. Hey, this would have been a great spot to have a pee. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. A bunch of barrels in there, rain barrels. Yes, it's full of barrels. Fantastic. Yes, I agree. I can think of a... About a million uses for those. Oh yeah. Easy. I had to clean up some litter bugs left a bunch of stuff down there. Oh yeah. What a surprise. This will be good for magnet fishing. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, 600 pounds worth of pull. Yeah. That concludes it. Thanks for uh, picking me up and to help here. Okay. And that concludes that. What's that? I said, and that concludes that. Okay, put that on the other side. Let's get out of here. All right, now this is truly the way to have a nice camping breakfast. No dishes required. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. Hi, Steve. I wanted a big enough tarp, but uh, it covers both vehicles completely. If this was camo, now we'd be stealthing it. <laughs> yeah, we would. Good one, Steve. Good one. Got these magnets here. Oh, there's a loony on there. It's worth doing. It's worth overdoing. Am I right? Yeah. Well, I don't know if you need your sunglasses on in here. It's a little dim. Oh, it's also that's better. It's also nice and uh, warm. It's toasty. It's toasty warm. Well, cheers, crazy neighbor. Cheers, Steve. What a fine structure. It is. Steve. If people don't know crazy neighbor is a was a real night life neighbor of mine before I moved to the acreage, and uh, been a friend of mine for many seasons now. Camping buddies. Mm-hmm. It may perform differently, <laughs> and yeah, crazy neighbor making interesting gestures. <laughs> A certain season you can use this setup and it is <laughs> don't Glenn. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. There's clearly a certain season you can <laughs> Season 
<laughs> Jeez. Uh. Hey guys, we're going to use the uh, Benford Easy Light 2000. any cheese in this? Oh, lots. <laughs> okay. Lots. Oh, don't worry. We'll get you set up with all the cheese you could have. There you are. Um, uh, um, oh, yeah. I don't know how on earth you eat that. Maybe a fork or a spoon or something. Or if you're, you got leathery man hands, you can... I got leathery just, man hands. Uh, Watch this. Unbelievable. Crazy neighbor. Not, Not too shabby. A little bit more like a normal camping trip. Well, we got crazy neighbor here because it's always nice to have somebody um, helping with the setup. Yes. Cheers, Steve. Cheers. I think we could cook on that. As if you can too. Oh, nice yeah. fire. We got a little trick too. The sacrificial beer goes in. We just boil them up in the beer, and the beer like caramelizes into this delicious malty uh, beer sauce that almost cooks. like a syrup. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. Yeah. That's my brother Bob, and we were bear hunting in the spring up by Cambina, and uh, we got a little bit uh, miscombobulated walking through the, the bush and down the cut lines and stuff. We didn't really know where we were. And we came across this abandoned railway line. Oh. And then we, uh, we found it on the topographical map and said, okay, we'll just follow this abandoned, and it said right on the topographical map that, that it was abandoned. And uh, we're following it down in. There's this big valley and there's this trestle, a railway trestle, a wooden railway trestle. Now they've already salvaged all the, uh, the rails and everything, mm -hmm. but you can still walk across it because they had the, uh, you know, railway ties there that you could walk on. And there was a bunch of them that were loose. And there was probably 75, 80 feet down to the to the bottom where this little creek was. And me and my brilliance decided I was going to pick up a railway tie mm -hmm. and throw it over the edge. And you ever seen a railway tie? They're pretty big. They're like six by they're eight huge. or something, and like I don't know, five feet long. And they're pretty heavy. And I picked this thing up, and I'm going to throw it over the edge, and I trip. And the log went down and I grabbed with both arms onto one of the supports that was there. And then my brother Bob grabbed me by the by my belt oh, and yeah. pulled me back up. And I'm telling you, I shook for like three minutes straight. I was just so that's the scaredest I ever been in my life. That yeah. was that was a good foot. <laughs> yeah. Well I think you owe him a beer. <laughs> <laughs> I think I owe him a beer, yeah. Makes up for all the things I did to him when he was a kid. <laughs> I always used to pick up my brother Bob. Hey, Steve. Oh, hey, man. Let me throw on the documentary here. See you all in the morning. Hey, crazy neighbor. You sleep okay? Like a baby. Woke up screaming every three hours. Okay. <laughs> I haven't seen anything like that before. Ooh, see the bites. Poke it, see if it moves. Well, that's one way to find out. A little mangled bacon, some cheese. We got onions on there from yesterday. Sweet medallias. It's clear you've never rolled one before. Mm -hmm. Just putting the final touches on the on the camper in there. I'm out here. Crazy neighbor has come out to um, drive me home if need be. Yeah, there's the crew here. Say hi to YouTube. What's going on? <laughs> hey. 
Hey, crazy neighbor, what do you think? <laughs> uh, I think we're at the best place we could possibly be. Look at all the buses here. We can strip for parts. Well, that's what I think. That's what I think too. And there's there's other stuff on these buses that I want. Um, yeah. There's just have to come back after dark. <laughs> no, there's you can delete that. <laughs> hey, crazy neighbor. No. You know what they want to see. <laughs> all right. So cheers, guys. Uh, stay tuned. Just a quick update here. Cheers. See you guys. But we got uh, boat sidetracked, and there are wheels on the boat. Some people may remember this fine gentleman beside me, um, crazy neighbor, and uh, his brother, Steve. Yeah, yeah, here I am, right here. Yes. <laughs> hey, <I just>, bro. <laughs> hey, Steve. I just met him today, and... Um, yeah, he's been my bro since I was like 14 years old. <laughs> his name's Steve, he sounds good to me already. So, uh, <laughs> crazy neighbor's been the engineer on this uh, drive system. We left it a little too long uh, in the year, and the river is way down so we reached the point of no return where we're gonna have to have some wheels on it otherwise we're gonna be spending a lot of time on the pry bars both wheels drive all the time there's power okay well I like and I like that tractor treads these wheels sit exactly two inches below the bottom of the barrel and we're still hammering out the fine details because just put wheels on it sounds really easy but in reality <laughs> Boats don't have wheels for a reason. It has been dubbed the Hunkerberry Fin. When we did take it out on the lake, we tried to rock it back and forth. I know this is top heavy. We're supposed to be on the river right now, but every single time <laughs> we work on the boat. Two steps forward, one step back. It's okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> yeah. It'll be worth all the time and effort. Boy, it's hot, isn't it? the sun yeah yeah um, crack crack a step two for us at home whatever that may be for you um, if you're too young for a step two um, have an apple juice or whatever your favorite uh, whatever your favorite treat is root beer was always mine family friendly campground full of nice campers everywhere uh, people will remember crazy neighbor possibly he'll be assisting me today It's a good enough shelter for me. Oh, almost like we measured it. Almost like we knew what we we're doing. And there you have it. Uh, for just $60 of tarps and tape, wasting an afternoon of your life, you can have a mediocre uh, wall tent. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> what are you feeding me, Steve? <laughs> like that. I'm gonna put them in for the fermentation process. In they go. Oh, it's a very ingenious light holding contraption. Crazy neighbor, made out of uh, our favorite tape in the world. Gorilla tape. Gorilla. <laughs> Those poor gorillas. <laughs> I know. Yeah, there's a couple of beds. It's not that big. To be honest, the... We're very close to being sleeping in the same bed. Um... Excuse me. Well, there's a there's a walkway in between. Yeah, we'll just, we've got pre-engineered uh, ventilation holes up here. Yeah, like that was uh, a slip of the knife, actually. But anyway, those are pre-engineered. We planned it. Yeah. We planned it. I've uh, I've sheltered in worse. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'd yeah. have to say. Oh, wow. That's an onion-drenched beauty right there. Thank you so much. Come on. Pure bliss. Very Pure good. bliss. Very, very good. Amazing with just five pieces of tarp and a little bit of rope and some gorilla tape what we could do. My shoelace has been coming untied lately. Um, really? Mm-hmm. Hey, which foot keeps coming untied? It's the left. Really? And now the right started to do it too. I've had the same kind of problem, but mine's always the right one. Yeah. Yeah. I think it might be the weather. Humidity. Possibly the humidity. I'm not sure, because they were tied good. They'll stay tied for months on end. And then it's just been untying constantly. Constantly. I don't know how many ways there are to tie a shoelace. There's lots. I just know one. 
<laughs> well, you've led a sheltered life. Night, Steve. Oh, night, crazy neighbor. Whoa! <laughs> that was efficient. Just like that. <laughs> Welcome to Camping with Steve and Crazy Neighbor. Uh, today is a very exciting day. We're not quite launching on the river, but we are tomorrow or the next day, so we're getting everything packed. We came up with this. A much, much lighter contraption that comes apart and it will fit in Crazy Neighbor's uh, Suburban. There's uh, something interesting that happened. Uh, a cat walked into the house. Hey, say hello. <laughs> Likes tuna. I think I might not be able to get rid of this thing now because uh, I have fed him or her. Just been calling her or him garbage because I like the office and I think it was getting into the garbage uh, outside before we took it to the dump. So that's what we got there is garbage and a boat and we're camping in the ruins. This is the gear we've got kind of laid out here for the river. You can hang out with us tonight and the... cheers. Cheers Steve. Mm. Putting some flour. There's no weevils in there so that's extra good. Beef broth. Oh no, the plate's on fire. Of course. I know I didn't make this correctly, but what do you think? It tastes okay? It's just <laughs> awesome. All right. We will get stuck. Yeah, there's bound to be some adventure. We're gonna sail, sail away. We figured out it'll fit in there, but we figure this thing is definitely not a lake vehicle, certainly not an ocean vehicle. Uh, but if it gets us down this river for five, six days, we're going to be really happy. Lots of people here with regular boats and they're looking at us. Then we're going to push off and <laughs> see where the river takes us. And we got these buckets here. This is the anchor bucket. We're off. Crazy neighbor steering from back there. Oh, I don't want to camp in town tonight. We were hoping to make it to the outskirts of town. What do you weigh, Glenn? Probably 180 pounds. Just doesn't get any better than this. There we go. Well, we're stuck again. This time is right across from the sewage refinery. So we're not sitting here. <laughs> the wind is coming right at us. Water uh, shoes. Time for the water shoes. We're gonna push this thing out again and try to make a little more distance. We're stopping for the night. It's about two in the morning. And of course we're stopping right by the refinery and the sewage station. Um, <laughs> we're on the river again now, making progress. We don't hit this big pile of wood here. All the high water marks on these bridge pillars show us that the river is low. Well the earth was shaking, my soul was quaking and I was sitting there debating whether I should stay in this dirty town or grab my gear and hunker down so I hunkered down. Well, I guess I'm like that. I'm a real live wire. Just a nice cold beer and a bushcraft fire. Ain't that the truth? The hell ain't no liar. Need a ratchet strap and a piece of wire to regain all of my youth. And I'm gonna build a tree house on my new land with my crazy neighbor and his spread out hands to leave the world behind with all his big demands. All I need is one good leg to stand with you to hold my hand. And there's a time and a place for everything, so they say, let it be right now on this day. What you're gonna do This is my advice That I freely give to you You gotta move from step one Head to step two Well this is the life That's what they say 
We were up early this morning. We were uh, floating at uh, just a few minutes after 8. Yeah, I was actually still asleep and I noticed the boat was moving. <laughs> that crazy neighbor just couldn't wait to go. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Uh, just gonna eat this. See you in the morning. And there's a time and a place for everything, so they say, let it be right now on this day. Yeah. And they'll always question what you're gonna do. This is my advice that I freely give to you. You gotta move from step one. Dig in there, Steve. Thanks, crazy neighbor. Mm, a lot of cheese on there. Real pan of cheese, yum. Looks like the wind's dying down. So we'll chow down on this and then push out and see how far we can get. Okay, just above my ankles, Steve. Just like oh, that. Oh, wow, we're floating already. It floats. <laughs> you getting deeper? Getting a little deeper. A little deeper? Let's go okay, pretty shallow. Yep. Going in. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Needed that. Okay. Oh, it's floating way faster than we are. Well, you take that big log that's over there mm -hmm. and try to rip to it. Getting ready for my simple meal. Ground beef and scalloped potato mix. Spatchamadili? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Spatchamadili. Spatchamadili. It's a new foreign language. Right on. Two table forks of, <laughs> I can't believe it's not better. <laughs> table fork? Table forks. These have cooled down nicely. And look at what we got. Extremely cozy here. Um, how about you, crazy neighbor? Great! <laughs> nice and warm. The original spot we were going to stop is about 52 kilometers away, Highway 38 there. There's an access underneath, and that we could comfortably do. Let's see if we can drag this out. Right on, repair well done. <laughs> yeah, okay. We've got brunch on the go. Bacon sandwiches. Mmm. Good cheese. Even real cheese today. Mm hmm. Aren't we fancy? Crisp but not burnt. Mm hmm. Just perfect. You cook a good bacon. Yeah, thank you, Steve. Like this doesn't come along often. We both couldn't pass it up as soon as we saw it. We got a firewood feast. The water's nice and deep and comes up to rocks. We can get in and out without getting our feet wet. We can push off easy in the morning. Train bridge in the distance. Uh, there is a happy little refinery back there by the looks of it. So the glow of those uh, flare stacks will keep us uh, company at night. At long last, it's time for a step two. We haven't been able to enjoy one because we've been on the boat so much, and that's a no-no on the boat. Uh, 
German Pilsner. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, yes. Very good. Oh, that's been a thirsty few days there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I guess it's sober, it's o sober October. Uh, yeah. So we're, we're <laughs> easing into that. <laughs> uh, I thought we'd hit the jackpot with all this firewood here. Um, but then I saw the beaver there and I feel bad now. We're just burning poor thing's retirement fund. Dig in, crazy neighbor. <laughs> yeah, coleslaw too, for a vegetable. All right, that was pretty good sleep, hey? What do you think, crazy neighbor? Oh, I did really good, yeah. Good. Well, today is overcast, chilly, and smoky. Hot chocolate kind of day. Yes, it is. Great. There's some pipe over there rhythmically squirting jets of water into the river. I hope it's water. Put more cheese on, believe me. <laughs> yum, yum. Bye, camping spot. All right, we're getting some sunshine for the first time in over a day. That's awesome. At this point in the river, we are leaving behind any of the refineries, fertilizer plants, processing facilities, chemical plants rendering plants and we have nothing but beautiful open river in front of us peaceful and majestic what a time for the journey to end wow yeah we've got probably 6k to go six five five to six k and then we're camping under a bridge tonight the same bridge where we're gonna get picked up tomorrow That's not a good spot to get stuck. <laughs> yeah. No. That was like the biggest rock we've seen so far. In deep water. In the fastest part of the deepest part of the river. So, 
All right, uh, that really got the blood pumping. Little shack on the side of the river. I could live a happy life there. We're stuck, of course, because that's the name of the game. We're just gonna have some food. Then, um, being stuck here is a problem for future Steve. Oh yeah, okay. Seem to do it. Just rock, rock the, the ball. <laughs> All right. Okay. Good. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Final destination here, under the bridge. That'll be our camping spot for the night. What do you think, crazy neighbor? Scenic enough for you? Oh yeah. I think it is. Oh, I can see crazy neighbor. Hey. We have the boat pulled in as far as we're going to get it. Crazy Neighbor basically passed out right after that. We have a heater going and it is cold. Below freezing tonight for sure. I'm just going to sleep off my hunger <laughs> and it's going to be a crispy morning. I know it already. And we got a boat to take apart. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Ah, that moment when you wake up and say, oh yeah. I'm under a bridge on the side of the river. This is really looking like a uh, shack on the side of the railway track somewhere. Um, but we've got all this leftover stuff that we're working with here. We did have a window put in here, this uh, corrugated poly. And uh, yeah, it's uh, gonna look a lot better than things are looking right now. Right on. This will be a thoroughly relaxing night. Uh, just gonna chill here with Crazy Neighbor, get a fire um, going. He ain't gonna be crashing in the treehouse. There he is. He, he's not gonna be in the treehouse because uh, he's too chicken. Uh, of the cold, so he'll be in the bus tonight. The fires are truly majestic. Uh, you know what time it is, I guess. Crazy neighbor, why don't you come oh, on yeah. over? And... I know what time it is. I'm just fighting with my chair here. Okay. I'm sure you can win. There you go. Oh yeah. Stoke up the fire a little bit. Right on. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice fire. You build good fire, Steve. Oh, thanks. It took me uh, years to years figure practice. out how to light it. So yeah, we're just uh, right a step through here. Cheers, Cheers crazy Steve. neighbor. What do you think about that? Oh, thank you, Steve. Yeah. Huh. All right. Got a heater up here. Cheers. Oh, thank you. Got a heater yeah. up here. My cot's set up for the night. Number got... two, step two. Yep. We got our cooking stuff set up. Uh, I did get a little smoky in here from the campfire down there, but that's okay. Uh, it's cleared out nicely. It, it's going to be an early night because we want to get out on the trails, and also um, we don't we don't have enough beer to get us into trouble tonight. So that's no, we don't. Okay. <laughs> no, we don't. No. Who needs a table when you got a chair, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're uh, just doing sloppy joes. I feel that heat pretty quick. Oh yeah. It, uh, it doesn't take much in a small space like this. No, well, that little buddy heater works good. What? This byproduct is water vapor, isn't it? Yeah, water vapor, light, yeah. heat, CO2, and a little bit of CO. There's always, always a little, little bit. bit yeah. Well, unless it's stoichiometric combustion. Get a potter. <laughs> No, uh, glad we're in here. <laughs> I don't see any leaks so far, but if that keeps going tonight, that'll really lull me to sleep. I like that noise. Yeah. It's got to calm me in the top. It does. Cup of water. It's gross. <laughs> Let's use some of that. There's water in beer. A can of tomato paste, but barbecue sauce is so much better. Oh, yeah. This huh? is extra rich, too, so. 
I mean, if it costs more, it just tastes better. We'll discover the answer. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Extra sloppy. Extra sloppy. <laughs> That's what we want. Yeah. All right. Uh, you want just uh, the bun, the meat? I'm gonna do what I call a guacky gel. I put a little guacamole on it. We got some cheese here too, right? Yeah. There's cheese. Uh, yeah. I think I'll have a little guac and cheese too. Okay. Well, cheese there. Let's see. I'll give you a little squirt of some guac on there. Yeah. Another one here. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, that's a good amount. Awesome. Walking oh, yeah. Joe's. Looks good to me. That's oh. good. Thanks, Steve. You're welcome. I hope I can find that recipe again mm. one day. Um, mm, well, this, uh, yes, a Guacky Joe. Um, it looks very good. Extra sloppy. Chomp, chomp. Yum. Well, good morning. Um, I hear Crazy Neighbor walking around down there. So he's up and out of the bus already. Crazy neighbor? No. You want a tea? No, I'm not much of a tea guy. Okay, more for me. Hey, Steve. Hey, crazy neighbor. Are you warm? Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. I was worried you might have been cold up there. Well, no. good sleeping bag. Right on. Nice for me. Good stuff. What do you have in the morning? Just like water? Water. Just water? Yeah, usually just water. I don't drink coffee or tea. I drink coffee uh, at least a couple times a year, maybe Christmas and New Year's with some Baileys or something in it, but uh, that's about it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so I, like... time I drink coffee. Yeah, we need some oil for the quad because uh, it could be low. Yeah, oil, gas, and electricity. That's it. There you go. Oh, there we go. We got lights. We got lights. Yeah, okay, I gotta prime it and get some. Okay. Okay, gonna let that warm up a little bit. Um, it is old smoky, uh, as we call it, for a reason. Um, yeah. Smoke spot. <laughs> so we gotta work on that. But to yeah. celebrate, uh, celebrate that. Rescue. Time to crack a step two. Well, it's the second time we've done You're this. You're pretty good at that one-handed thing. Well, it's a skill you have to master when you want to film yourself cracking a beer. <laughs> mm. Okay, I'm off! All right. He left his beer behind. He'll be back. We're trying to find a couple of trees that this will fit between nice. Just a little A-frame seating area. We get the fire pit down here. How level is that? <laughs> I don't know. Let me stand back a bit. You got her? Yep, I got her. Look. Down. Yep. Down. Beauty. All right, right there. How are you so good at holding your arms stretched out like that? Square. Oh, yeah. Square enough. Yeah. It's just a shelter. Just a shelter. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that's, that's perfect. Oh, this feels warmer already. This is shaping up to be absolutely exactly what I wanted. We'll have room for the fire pit there. And as we get more wood, we'll trim this up a little nicer. Put some tin on the roof, cut this off along there, and uh, yeah, no more uh, no more trees wrapped in tarp that we call a shelter. Here we go. Yeah. It's working like a warming shelter, so that's good. I, I can feel the heat. I had to take my other jacket off, so yeah. cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Welcome to Camping with Steve, here with uh, Crazy Neighbor, we all know him, and we've loaded up a ton of uh, gear, the ice fishing tent. Um, a lot of beer um, <laughs> on this sled. We're gonna haul it down to the beaver pond down there and set up for the night, uh, tell some good stories, cook some good food, and uh, have a step two. With no further ado, let's get this uh, let's get this show on the road and try to learn how to use snowshoes. Oh, nice to be out of the snowshoe. <laughs> 
that these will have great use in the future. I think that's enough work for the day. Would you care for a step to uh, value beverage? Crazy mm -hmm. Beaver? I meant to value. Um, beer. Thank you. Yum. No name beer. Hmm. It's not as offensive as its price point would suggest. No, um, it's not bad at all. No, for winter camping beer, uh, it gets uh, three thumbs up from me. Mm hmm. Very good. It's super cozy in here. The fire we've got uh, going and it'll be down to the coals in no time. Having a good time here, uh, crazy neighbor? Oh yeah, it's remarkably be warm in here. Yeah. Pass me the onion, please. Oh, we lost the onion. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> They're wily little things. Here, give me a handful of scraps, I'll throw them in the fire. Thank you. Uh, there you are. Yeah, teamwork. So nice uh, in the winter because we don't have to worry about the bears. I thought it was any month that ended in burr is uh, a hunting month. I don't know. I always thought that was related to trapping. I thought trapping was bringing gravel from one gravel pit to uh, a processing site or something. That is in the modern world, yeah, that's called trapping. It's just moving gravel from one place to another. But in the old days, trapping was like actually going out and trapping fur berry animals. Oh, snaring uh, small mammals for their yeah, fur. Yeah, for their fur. Yeah, yeah that's. What I well, the Hudson Bay Company was built on uh, the beaver trade. Big time. That was top yeah, hats. Big time, yeah. 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 I guess I'm going to spoil the secret here. We're making a shepherd's pie. And, uh,. Right on the fire outside with a Dutch oven. Brown up a little beef right out here under the stars. Oh, yeah. This was poorly thought out. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the gloves? I gotta. Okay, I'll go grab a glove. We'll pull the pot off and then we'll put the meat in the pot. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, it's just, just burning me. Oh, this one just about goosed me. Holy. Okay. <laughs> Yikes! Oh. I think I lost all the hair on my knuckles here. <laughs> there you go, Steve, some gloves! <laughs> oh, thank goodness. The flashlight. Okay, we're gonna try to salvage. Oh man, the smoke's getting my eye too cold. The worst outdoors chef in history. Oh. All right. Love the Dutch oven. It just cooks things so evenly. Onion time. So, in you go. There's got to be water in this. Water in every beer. Hey, crazy neighbor. Are you hungry? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! Look at that. Uh, that was good. It smells... Better than it looks. Uh, I think it looks just fine. I think it'll do the job. It's uh, oh yeah. Oh, lots of cheese. I spared no expense. Spared no expense. Good, good for them. Thank you so much. Oh, you're, you're very welcome. That's the picture perfect uh, shepherd's pie. Mm -hmm. This I'm not even gonna say what it looks like. Um, but time to dig in. And well. My my Dutch oven cooking on the open coals is going to take some work, but nothing got burned. It's all cooked. Yep. Very edible. Oh, You've yeah. got an awful lot of cheese there. Mmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Mm. Highly edible. <laughs> it was a pretty good meal there, Steve. Well, thanks. No, it was really good. Um, see you guys in the morning. I know this is not a, some crazy experiment or anything or any uh, stealth camping stuff, but uh, this is um, a really relaxing, fun evening. Uh, first time cooking with the Dutch oven right on the coals. 
there's stuff to be learned, I'm sure. Morning. That was, uh, were you warm enough? <laughs> uh, I've, I've slept in colder. I've slept in colder. <laughs> Didn't help when the buddy heater ran out of fuel. Yeah, we thought there was a lot in that uh, 20 pound cylinder. Not so much, so. It'd be really nice to camp somewhere for a few days instead of uh, just overnighters. We've got to get back into town. If you remember Garbage, that cat that came around, uh, we're getting him all vet checked up and fixed and everything, so. Uh, there's a lot of running around, and he hates the vet. With passion. All packed up. Not going to be wearing uh, the snowshoes today because they're really hard to um, walk in unless you know what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> you can't go backwards very easily. And uh, little twigs and stuff actually get stuck in the in the holes on here. We'll see you next week, and I promise it'll be better video than this. Welcome to camping with Steve and a crazy neighbor. We're going ice fishing today. Um, the cold snap is still on, like minus 30 Celsius, and uh, that's okay. We got a good heater, and I've had that ice fishing tent for like 10 years now, and I've never gone ice fishing in my life. Minus and 37 overnight low tonight. Minus 37, so it'll be frosty, but we got a good heater. Yep. And over, over halfway there, Steve. Over halfway there. Yeah. Yes, it's chilly. But uh, the first goal is to get the shack set up and a heater in it. It's nice for somebody to plow this path. Yeah, definitely a bit of a hike, but let's uh, get this shelter set up. Crazy neighbors trying to get a little spot for where we're actually going to put the tent, but for right now, we got to get a heater in there. Warm it up. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, starting to, it's starting to get a little warmer in here. It is. Just uh, after a quick warming break, we're just getting down to the ice. It'll be good. Let's go get the rest of this stuff. Yeah. Some people have way nicer setups than us. <laughs> Last trip and then uh, I've been pretty thirsty. I don't know about you. Looks pretty warm in there. What do you think? Well, it looks steamy. Warm. You want to see how it is? Oh, yes. That's right. Hey. Gotta burn down. Oh, yeah. Well, that fogs up the lens pretty good. Oh, oh. it's warm. It's like getting in a sauna. This looks fun. Do <laughs> you think there's any wrong way to do this? Uh, clockwise. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, fire fire. Fire. Yeah. Oh, look at that. So, you think the ice is deep enough? How deep are we? Yeah, 18 inches. That's yeah, okay. deep. Yeah. Yeah. That's not bad. See, we saved 500 bucks on buying one of those yeah. big fancy uh, gas powered deals. We're sinking. <laughs> yeah, all the water's freezing pretty quick that spilled over. Really we want that because we don't want the tent to be frozen out here. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll have to spend the whole winter out here ice fishing. Yeah. But, that is uh, <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> There's something shiny down there. Maybe it's somebody's car keys. Oh, jeez. I hope they're not mine. With all that accomplished, uh, it, we'll proceed to step two. It is. Cheers. Cheers, Steve. Mm. It's not even frozen. <laughs> oh, it is cold, though. Mm -hmm. Got us a couple of fishing sticks. Um, what do you want, green or yellow? I don't care. Yellow. Let's go, sir. Sure. Okay, they're fairly brightly colored, so when we drop them in the, uh, in the water, we know what to do. City Slicker goes fishing. Okay. You caught in a lot of fish in your life before? Very few. 
caught one a couple years ago when we were on the river together, and that's oh, yeah. that's about it. Is it weird to be using the same hole? Oh, I got something. It's your lure. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours, no bites. Crazy neighbor saw a couple little fish though, like, what would you say, how big? Uh, really small, like top big feeders or something. Oh, real small. Well, probably the big fish will come around and eat them and we'll be in business. That's the hope, yeah. yeah. Crazy neighbor, would you like one? Uh, yeah, I'll wait for a little while yet. Thank you very much. Hold note to reel in General Sherman there. Did you bring a gaff? No, those are uh, prohibited for use. Yeah, I don't think we'll need one here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a nice fishing first. <laughs> we heard a truck go past, and it was a delivery from the bar, Jungle's Bar and Grill. Look at this, we got hot food. <laughs> hot food. Step twos. Oh, awesome. Give in to beer pressure. Well, this one's plain, but that's okay. Yeah. Wow. Bet you're glad you held out. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You don't expect a beer and food delivery uh, <laughs> yeah, out ice fishing. Oh, there's a poutine. Either even labeled Ooh, for us. burgers. Just a burg. Salt and pepper wings. Oh, look at all this. And a brisket. Uh, oh, wow. So, <laughs> thank you, Sheila. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Sheila. Yeah. Okay, so. Awesome. <laughs> next time, we'll just order food out here. <laughs> Hypothermia will wake us up if we get too cold. So. <laughs> Shivering well. <laughs> yes. So, uh, night guys, we will catch you in the morning, and hopefully, I'm going to catch more than just catching you. Fish. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Don't drop the hammer. All right, we got to catch something. I know. We didn't bring breakfast. No. I think we've picked the wrong spot, or. We really don't know what we're doing. Actually, probably both. Um, Combination of the two, yeah. Yeah, there's no fish left in this lake. <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> tear this stuff down and... Yeah, uh, finish my step two and <laughs> we're out of here. Yeah. I don't think it'll fit back in the bag. Go get her. I swear, the next video that mentions fishing, we're gonna have a big one too big to get through the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers everybody! Cheers! We're not camping and this is not the video any of us want to see. Um, I don't even want to be filming this, but I'm at the acreage. <laughs> I've been uh, stuck here. The vehicle is not exactly working. Our little Hyundai, crazy neighbors here, and uh, he's been actually doing the heavy lifting here. There's concrete to be poured over there and there is... Is that the bedroom you're claiming? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so we got these three framed up. In other news, the school bus is up and running. It had a horrible diesel leak. It was probably losing. Crazy neighbor, what do you say? Gallon an hour? What's that? The bus leak, a gallon an hour? Oh, easily. Easily. Easily a gallon an hour. Easily. So, not the type of thing you're going to take uh, down the road for a number of reasons. Um, there's the environmental impact and crazy new and then there's also the cost of the diesel um which and a fire hazard and you know a fire hazard a lot of reasons but yeah. uh so that's up and running and we can finally get that show on the road again hey crazy neighbor is there a step two over there somewhere that i can crack for okay crazy neighbor's gonna find a step two so i can at least crack a step two hey boy thanks hey there you go yeah, so. Cheers, Steve. Cheers, crazy neighbor. Cheers, everybody. Got a lot done. We did get a lot done, and yes, there's enough off my plate for now that we can continue um, getting back to the camping. So, cheers, everybody. Hey, guys, welcome to Camping with Steve. Today I'm here with Crazy Neighbor. And um, in a past video, I disguised myself as a construction worker 
to sneak behind a construction site and camp. Today we're taking it a little further, we're going to build an entire fake construction site. And um, a whole bunch of other uh, little tricks to make us look as unsuspicious as possible. Like we belong. <laughs> like we belong, so let's get the show on the road. Planks in there, we've got a bottom bunk and a top bunk. Keep prying eyes away from our step twos. Crazy neighbor's warming up his toes in the suburban, and just to make things extra realistic, I brought a Bluetooth speaker and I found um, what is this? 10 hours of construction sounds. The crew is working away in there, and between us and distance there, you can see the light tower of the actual construction site for a pipeline. And uh, that just blends in beautifully around here. What are you doing up there? Just putting a zip tie in here to keep some heat in. Bottom bunk there. Oh, excuse me, Steve. Hey, crazy neighbor. Just tying up the top of the ceiling. I think we're all good. Good, good. What do you want, top or bottom? I'll take the top. That way if I fall down, you can cushion <laughs> my blow. All right, well, you heard it there. Uh, it's probably going to be warmer up here, too. I'm a little more acclimatized to uh, outside stealth camping than crazy neighbor. <laughs> what do you say? I would say so, yeah. I'm, I'm a bit of a wimp when it comes to the cold. <laughs> I have to have my long underwear, and my big winter boots, and my gloves. Oh, thanks, crazy yes, neighbor. Honey. All right. Yeah, oh. going in. All right. Oh, how are we doing? Uh, doing pretty good. Good. Can we get this out of my head? <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> this is nice and cozy. Shelter looks like um, a shelter, and that's step one. And step two is beer. Thank you, so, Steve. You're welcome. Thank you for all the help. Mm. Step two. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, I'm, I got no vehicle right now, so... Um, the reason this is possible is Crazy Neighbor was willing to drive around, rent some scaffolding, um, throw it into his Suburban, drive out here and camp with me for the night, so. Well, in actual fact, we needed the scaffolding for the work on this house anyway, and so we figured, hey, if, if we have it, we might as well use it. Two birds, single stone. There's the top bunk. You claimed that one? I claimed the top one, yep. Yeah. All right. It's warmer up there. Yeah, I'm here down on the bottom, which is okay. There's a ton of zip ties, and Crazy Neighbor's been putting them in all over the place. Yeah. And we've had about a 50% uh, failure rate on these cheap zip ties. So if you're gonna buy zip ties, don't buy the cheap ones. They don't work in the cold. They can be a cause for concern. You getting hungry? Oh yeah, I'm getting <laughs> hungry, yeah. Just about There's that nice time. and toasty warm in here. Just a light breeze outside. Doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> okay, most dangerous thing possible. Uh, don't do this at home. Crazy neighbor. How many birds would you like? Two. You like a spicy bird? I sure do. <laughs> Do we have a treat for you? Would you like this, crazy neighbor? I sure would. All right. Thank you so much, Steve. Mmm. Awesome. Okay, we got to uh, load some stuff out of there into there so we have room to sleep. Okay. How are things on the upstairs bunk? Hi, Steve. 
Hey, crazy neighbor, well, you're warm? I can see my breath. Yeah, I can see mine too. <laughs> That's all right. Once I'm in the sleeping bag, should be a-okay. Hey, crazy neighbor. Now it's, of course, the simple matter of rip it all down and stuff it in the Suburban. Of course, the way we have to load this is the scaffolding on the bottom. Now does that old nursery rhyme go, when you're camping, don't forget your scaffolding guardrails? Something yeah. like that? <laughs> Just like that, all packed up and ready to go. That's all you need to do to go camping. I'm back at home and Crazy Neighbor has done a fantastic job on the treehouse. Uh, it's actually cleared out enough that I can get my car down here. Hi Steve! Hey Crazy Neighbor. Welcome home! Thanks, looks great. Awesome, I'm glad you're happy. For the last five weeks, I've been in BC filming five or six weeks, and it was a blast. And I happened to notice on Crazy Neighbor's channel, while I was gone, something that resembled my treehouse, except way better. Now, this thing when I left uh, had a collapsed roof with a tarp flapping in the wind, and I'm looking at this YouTube video and I'm seeing balconies, uh, overhangs, awnings, uh, windows, a roof. So, what exactly did you do here, and where'd you come up with all this material? Well, all the material came out of your house. Really? Yeah, when we were uh, doing the demolition on your house, that all came out of your house. I think there were three pieces of plywood we had, actually had to buy. They were $25 each. That's a good price. But when we, when we first built this place, for maximum accuracy, we eyeballed everything. And these 2x12s are up here. They were that long, so that's how long we made them, and wow, that's an instant balcony. So there we go. We got an instant balcony. We had some spare roofing left over. We put a steel roof on it, built a real set of stairs. Mm -hmm. and well, yeah. Yeah, it's just, we've been having fun while you're gone, Steve. It looks great. It's, it's amazing what happens with idle minds. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, a couple of feet, probably? Yeah. Uh, a ledge. Uh, keep everything out of the rain, uh, right across from the fire pit there. And yeah, what do people normally do in a bar? Step two. Cheers, crazy Cheers, neighbor. Cheers, Steve. Welcome home. Good to see you again, and wow, what a job here. I'm happy. I'm glad you're happy. Uh, I sure am. Wow, are these sanded? Yeah, they are. Yeah. No slivers. <laughs> no slivers for us. No. Wow. Even trim around the windows. Well, yeah. This is fancy. <laughs> I don't know if I belong in this thing. <laughs> the bottom of the balcony looks sturdy. Hurricane clips. Oh, yeah. And you know what? They give a guarantee against hurricanes, but you know what? We don't have hurricanes in our part of the world, but it's guaranteed not to come apart in a hurricane. Huh. That'll work. Follow me up here, Steve. Hi, Steve. Welcome to the treehouse. Looks great. Yeah, look, we got a, a window, a hunker down manor. Oh, from the birthday. Yeah, yeah from your birthday. Awesome, yeah. man. That looks a light. We got a steel roof. That'll sound good in the rain and the hail. Nice door to the balcony here. Look at the size of this latch. Nobody's going to break in at night. There's the balcony. Well, that's quaint. Just enough room for two chairs and a couple of beers. All right, I know what to do. This is not too bad at all. No. Pinch Point City. There's extra My parts. Thumb. Exactly. Throw another log on the fire. What was the first thing we did when you first <laughs> bought this place? Oh. Before we dealt with anything else, I always wanted a treehouse. 
So we built the treehouse. That was, yeah, it was in a video, well, be over a, a year ago, two co years ago. A couple now. years ago now. Uh, for maximum accuracy, we built everything without a level just eyeball that. I love this little counter. Good job, crazy neighbor. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> Chop up some mushrooms. And uh, then. Steve. Yeah? Are you doing this by the buck? <laughs> Somewhat. Really? <laughs> You're doing it by the buck? <laughs> uh, I. I'm gonna play it safe on this one. I haven't made this before. Okay, sounds I know there's, good. There's no wrong way to make this. It's just regular ingredients that all get mixed together. I know, it's just all the times that I've ever gone camping with you, I've never seen you read a recipe book. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful wife found this, and so I gotta use it. It's a beautiful wife. Chop. My thumb! <laughs> oh, don't even say that. Okay, uh, do you want the whole onion in there, or just a little bit? No, I think we should take the whole thing. Consult with the recipe. Well, um, look how much meat's in there, yeah. Yeah, no, it says... No, we need a whole onion. Yeah. So it says a large onion slice. This is relatively large. It is, relatively, okay. yeah. Steve's walking off camera right now doing his slice and dice, but I'm still here. Hi, guys. No, I was just ditching the skin on the onion, all right. Nothing yeah. better than the sound of an onion being sliced. Brings tears to my eyes. You want a little mushrooms or a lot? A lot. You want that one? No. It's a loud way to set up a sleeping bag. It works! Can of condensed, uh... Hey, crazy name. Hi, Steve. I don't know, it's imported. A product of Italy. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Italian. No bundles. Oh. Can I splash you? I'm getting splashed. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Looking oh, good. Got me right Looking in the good. eye. Time to serve it up hot. Um, how many shovelfuls would you like? Uh, two scoops. They're small. Okay, three. <laughs> This is good for, uh... That's good, yeah. Okay, all right. One little scraggler there. That's, Thank you, Steve. You're gonna have to have seconds, I think. Look at the length of that noodle. Oh, yeah, they're big. Yeah. They're imported. Yeah. Italy. We'll unplug, uh, something and get this going. Or I could dangle the laptop up there. Well, we can turn on the dark. No, I'll just dangle the laptop up there and plug it in, right? What could go wrong? Look at that. Built-in laptop holder, Steve. Plug it into the Christmas Doesn't lights. Doesn't get any better than that. We'll see if there's enough uh, propane to get us through the night. I sincerely doubt it. This is cozy. I could live a happy life in here. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, good night, crazy neighbor. Good night, Steve. Good night, world. We're gonna try to build a railway. Is that going to work as a train? It needs different wheels and they have to be the same gauge as the rails. But I like the way you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Good. It'll almost be like a roller coaster. You got enough momentum just to get up the other side. Well, choo choo, step two coming through. Right on. Makes you thirsty working on the railway. Yeah, all day long. Yeah. Cheers, Steve. Cheers, crazy neighbor. Walking the rails? Any time is train time. <laughs> Except right now. Choo choo. And yeah, next time you see me, choo choo. Yo. Hey guys, welcome to Camping with Steve. Um, crazy neighbor is so gracious as to drop me off on uh, the side of uh, freeway interchange. And I'm gonna do some camping tonight. Good old stealth style. And uh, hopefully all goes well. Just gonna 
get a little bit further up ahead here, and uh, that's where I get out. It's time to roll. Thank you so much. See you. See you, see you tomorrow morning. You bet. See you in the morning. Bye. Okay. So, um, my alarm went off. Crazy neighbor's going to be picking me up in about an hour. So I'm going to get things torn down and start picking up some of the trash that's around here. I'll get the gear over a little closer to where Crazy Neighbor's going to pick me up. Now that we've successfully completed the crime of the century. Alright, we're out of here. I grabbed some garbage. Camera. Go, go, go. One car came by. Alright. Sweet car. It's on the road. Thanks for the way. Yeah, thanks for the lift. Yeah, no problem. Right to the US border. And I think I can sneak back there and do a little camping. And of course I have with me. Crazy neighbor. Uh, so that's a little bit better. I planned to film this last week, except there's a lot of bears in the area. Bears, bears, bears. So doing it on my own was not really a good thing. A little horn um, to yep, scare them off, <laughs> if that works. On the trail, out to the border, um, trying to keep the noise up a bit. No signs of flowers, a couple of flowers. It's pretty impressive chunk of rock. Of course, it doesn't help that what we're doing makes it look like we're going to do a run for the border in the middle of the night. And you got bear spray. I got bear spray in a holster. I got bear spray in holster. Little liquid courage um, goes a long way. It does. Um, in grizzly country, start throwing together um, some subs because we're having subs. Um, got a million subs. Might as uh, well have subs. <laughs> thanks to all you guys. So it's subs tonight. You got a first aid kit? Uh, should have brought that. Hmm. Million subs calls for a sub. And uh, crazy neighbor, would you like to come and have the first bite of the million subscriber sub? I certainly would. All right. Okay, well, let's cut that, that puppy in half. All right. And uh, I'll just bite put me half. There's people crying right now whether we're going to cut this monster in half. I'm sure okay. of it. But that's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take the big piece. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Cheers. Mm. This is the stealthy setup. Um, there's camo netting behind us, a widow maker over top that we can dangle a tarp off if it starts to rain. And what's that by your left hand? A uh, little bit of step two. Our first official step two of the trip. Yeah, let's uh, give a big shout out to um, everybody who's followed along. You do the honors, please. Cheers. And of course, <laughs> we're going to go walk over to the border. Yeah. We're heading back up to the border in the middle of the night. Um, I can't stress this enough. Don't do this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to bring the sleeping bags up here and like sleep like directly on the border tonight. Are you okay with that? Absolutely. All Absolutely. right. Filming the same thing here. We got a thermal cam on Crazy Neighbor and the real cam. And when we get up to the border, I'll sneak across. You throw the sleeping bags over the fence. Alrighty. Okay, sweet. Okay. Alright. All right. This can't even be called stealth camping because there is nothing stealthy about that. Crazy neighbor. Morning. Morning. All you need in this world is a good sleeping bag and a pile of rocks to put it on. <laughs> the balls of steel. <laughs>
<laughs> no Mountie riding on his horse over top of the hill. Yeah, there's like nothing here. Not encouraging anybody to do this. Um, again, do not do this. Your borders may vary. Uh, however, <laughs> it's uh, um, I I'm thrilled. Uh, what a perfect, what a perfect camp for a million subscribers. Yeah. Uh, that you know we actually had a peaceful sleep under the stars at the Canada-U.S. border. We're going to be able to do this in one trip, I think. I think we are. I'm loaded. Yeah. Here we go. Got my bear spray. You got your bear spray? Sure do. Make a little noise. Thank you so much for coming and uh, being a part of this uh, crazy neighbor. Oh, love being here. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Camping with Steve and Crazy Neighbor. Uh, first time you ever had a backpack on, you were telling me. Yeah, it is. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. let's uh, let's go camping. We're heading to an abandoned power plant. This is the most like actual camping video that we've ever done, but that's gonna change, just like the start of any good horror movie. Definitely puts a smile on my stealthy little face. Yeah, this is cool. Well, time to get the packs off. How was uh, the death march for you? It wasn't much of a death march. We weren't forced to do anything. Oh, there's a lot of empties down there. There we go. Hazard eliminated. We'll make note of that on our FLHA. Let's not walk on fiber. We don't walk. <laughs> yes, very good, uh, very good point. Things like that. I'm guessing it's covering up something dangerous. Okay. That'll take a few beverages before I'm uh, comfortable going down those stairs. Got uh, a little door here that's seen better days. We don't know where we're gonna set everything up, but shouldn't stop us from enjoying delicious step two. Am I right? <laughs> Always ready. Cheers, crazy neighbor. Cheers. Glad to have you with me on this adventure. Crazy neighbor. I came out, you told me if I came out the island to see it, I'd see things I've never seen before. So, so far you've been telling me the truth. This is incredible. This, this broom was just leaning up against the wall. It's made out of a four by two slab, a, a wedge and a stick. Craftsmanship. Yeah, we think we can camp underneath here. It's right by the door in case of earthquake because I know my luck. On the side of there, I think one of the first things I put in was a sleeping pad. Ooh, I saw a sleeping pill. <laughs> sleeping pill. <laughs> okay. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. And its crazy neighbor has got this light pointed into this horrible looking uh, We're basement. Going down to the abyss. Okay, you want me to we go are. first? A little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. That's a big jump. Oh, it's uh... Okay, there we go. I'm in. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's definitely the pen stock. Oh, check this out. That's all hot right with it. That's not welded. That's, that's hot riveted together. Really old one though. Look at, look at this. Look how old that thing is. This is like when they used to have like post and beam wiring. That's a fancy one. Ceramic. It's broken, but that is so cool. We're just gonna leave it right here for other people to look at. Well, is this a retro? Look at this. Well, there we Apparently go. the concrete wasn't working good enough. And they put this wooden beam up here. Oh, now you're getting me scared. Holy moly. Oh, we missed this part. Yeah, it's a... Uh, How do we miss this? I don't know, you gotta be very careful here. Oh boy. People are pigs. That end is not hooked up. No, this end either. And there's a, a beer can in there. Well, that's the uh, flow control. <coughs> Ooh, what was that? Flow control. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, really? That's not good. No. Uh, meet 
meatballs and fireball. <laughs> All right. Sounded good. That was unexpected. Um, yeah, it was, but it was fun. It doesn't get any better than this. Hey, crazy neighbor. Found your way back? Some meatballs, some Swiss. Alrighty, watch it, I'm coming up. That's good. Morning. Morning, Steve. What a sense of holiday spirit around here. So Crazy Neighbor and I picked up a few strings of uh, Christmas lights and we're going to put them up on the treehouse. Hey Crazy Neighbor. So, um, we got all the lights up we had. It's time to entertain a frosty yet delicious step two. Hope they're not frozen. They've been outside. <laughs> Cheers, crazy neighbor. Thank not you. E not even like Slurpee. It's good. Thanks for the help. Couldn't have done it without you. Oh, glad to be here. Crazy neighbor noticed this thing was for sale. <laughs> And that makes the lights uh, in three different things do all these crazy designs. Pretty good for a treehouse. Really ties the forest together. Yeah, it does, yeah. <laughs> Need some more coals. Hey, crazy neighbor. It's toasty warm up here. It sure is. Okay, I'll deal with that. Oh, you need Watch this. Uh, there's a yeah, few, more, yeah, few, okay. more, few more seeds. We might have peppers in the spring. Damn, shoe laces. What do you think about that? I think that looks just awesome. Look at this. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Good night, guys. Hey, everybody. Your garbage. Sit. There you go. Oh, who is this? Hi, Steve. Hey, crazy neighbor. Hi, guys. My best friend, crazy neighbor. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Camping with Steve and crazy neighbor. Uh, it's going to be really cold. Um, yesterday morning, it was minus 40 degrees Celsius, which is the same in Fahrenheit. And we're expecting more of that overnight. Hey, Tommy. Okay. Thank you. You get the cops in first. You can try to pass them into you. Does that work? Hold on, hold on. Okay, so it's exactly what I was talking about. There's liquid propane coming out of this hose. So it's. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, we just better let this air out before we uh, try to light it again. Don't do any of this home surgery on uh, bleeding liquid propane out of things. Uh, just give up unless you're a certified gas fitter. And actually, <laughs> even if you are a certified gas fitter, it's probably time to go home. That made all the difference. So, oh, yeah. yeah, in minus 40 degrees situations, these uh, aren't going to work very good with a buddy heater setup. Still see that breath, but... It's diminishing. A frosty cold beer should warm me up. Right? <laughs> I would hope so. Stay 
Step well, two. Cheers to everybody. Hey, it's not and, frozen. Uh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Uh, all, all those good things. Well, it's cold. It doesn't warm me up. <laughs> no. We could have picked eggnog or something. Rum and eggnog <laughs> would have been better. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy neighbors just out there grabbing a pot so we can start cooking some dinner here shortly. And the trusty eco fan uh, runs on the Pelche effect, uh, just off the heat from the fire, creates an electrical current. All right, on we got the pot. Um, okay, good. What goes better with cabbage roll soup than cabbage rolls? Roll. <laughs> All right. Why do we always cook the stinkiest things um, in an enclosed space? It's always got to be chili or cabbage or... That little fan will actually run in reverse if it's cold on the bottom and hot on the top. So while we're cooking, we put some snow on the bottom and the heat from the Mr. Buddy heater is enough to almost kind of make it spin backwards, backwards and then it'll <laughs> draw the air the other way. Because uh, this is the most entertaining thing we can think of to do right now. <laughs> the rest of the frozen cabbage rolls. There we go. Yeah, just a small meal for two. <laughs> it's a little frosty. That's a little frosty. Yeah, I gotta go for a bio break, Steve. Oh, okay. It's wicked cold out there. And it's dark, dark, dark. Bundle up. It's yeah. yeah I got it's my pretty... jacket on this time. It's moderately cold out there. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna have to let that cool down. Yep. It's uh, wow. Looks awesome. Mr. Buddy Heater for the win, wow. Holy moly. Oh yeah. It'll take some cooling down. That's a, a good looking uh, yeah. stew, I suppose. See? You've, uh, you've enjoyed a few cabbage rolls in your time, have you? Quite a few. <laughs> Look at that. Quite a few. So, with cabbage rolls, do you like the long skinny ones or the short thick ones? I like them both. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Here we go. Yum yum. Crazy neighbor is sequestered nicely and sawing logs just before hunkering down. Latest reading, minus 38 degrees. And uh, in Fahrenheit, that's minus 36 degrees. And, uh, yeah, crazy neighbor is still sawing logs, and that's that's okay. I'm used to uh, a little noise to help me sleep. So see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Uh, it only got down to minus 38 last night. Celsius is minus 37 Fahrenheit. So it's pretty close. <laughs> pretty close. With uh, a degree, that shouldn't confuse our American people. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Hello, uh, Black Eyed Steve here with Crazy Neighbor, and uh, we're going on a train trip. And I'm third wheeling it here with uh, Crazy Neighbor and his lady friend. Uh, so. It should be a good trip, 26 hours, covers 800 miles, uh, you sleep on the thing, there's meals, and there's a bar. So let's jump on a train uh, and see how this goes. This is not quite camping, but it's an adventure. Ready for this trip? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this trip has been a bucket list thing for me. A uh, beautiful wife and I had planned to do this trip for years. This was our dream. So I'm doing it as a third wheel here with the crazy neighbor and his lady friend. And I'm hoping it'll be cathartic because I'm no longer putting things over for someday in the future. Uh, I'm taking care of things now because we've had a poignant example of what can happen if you don't live every day to the fullest. And uh, you might not get to do these things. There we go. Time to explore the dome car. The sky view windows. That's cute and everything, but let's go find the bar. A crazy neighbor and um, his lady friend are probably gonna get cozy on the bottom. 
with the two of them. Um, hopefully not too cozy because it's just a piece of uh, fabric there. So anyway, moving on. I think the food is a little bit too fancy. Rack of lamb. What do you think about salmon? I'm not a fish guy. Mm. Uh, maple Dijon chicken? Uh, I'll probably try that. It's the most appetizing thing that I can see. You haven't seen the vegetarian special yet, though. That doesn't sound very appetizing to me. We've got a backup plan in case. We yeah. stop at midnight in another town and we could probably order a pizza. But, yeah, let's uh, just get an Uber to deliver to the train station. We're just too unsophisticated for um, lamb and <laughs> salmon and stuff like that. Like, I wish they had a burger or a steak on here. Anyway, that's our problem. Not there theirs. it is. <laughs> that's right. Uh, most people would actually enjoy this food. Yeah, well, they'd be a, you know, over They'd the be top. thrilled. Yeah, okay. thrilled. Morning, Steve. Good morning, Grace. Good morning. You have your tickets with you. Yeah, thanks. Jasper is uh, quite a touristy place, and it's quite cold. Very and cold. I've got my land legs back now after being on that train. So time to get the train legs back. It's going to turn to prairies here really quick. Uh, so after that, pretty much the only scenery we're going to see is the bottom of a of a glass. Coffee and hot water. Does that sound good to you? Uh, hot water works for the hot chocolate that's also <laughs> up there. <laughs> Bye, Josh. Well, they brought us some uh, champagne, so cheers, crazy name. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Hey everybody, welcome to Camping with Steve and Crazy Neighbor. You don't have to do the salute when you're driving. Um, <laughs> Crazy Neighbor is out here with his lady friend and they have her motor home out here. They've been visiting and traveling around. So they're bringing me and I actually feel like a guest on a trip. I feel like uh, I don't have to do a whole lot because I've got Crazy Neighbor driving and it's hauling behind my little camper, Brave Little Toaster. And uh, today I'm going to be a Brave Little Toaster and head back to uh, Jess and I's favorite campground. Uh, I think this will be good and I have good friends with me. Crazy Neighbor's an awesome guy, but the worst thing you ever have to do is help him back in a trailer. The rain started. I love that sound. But the fire's gone out. So we're kind of hunkered down in here for now. I love that little pitter patter of the rain. It, it sounds like little fairies dancing on the roof. It's an interesting way to put it. Ah, my thumb! How many dogs would you like, crazy neighbor? Probably two. All right, I'll cook them all. Okay. Full blown hunkering down right now. Time for grub. I can't open that. Oh, mustard juice right in my eye. Okay. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Crazy neighbor made me a coffee. Tastes suspiciously Irish, but that's okay. We got about 20 minutes until the next batch of rain comes, so we got to get this uh, gazebo set up. I've got an idea today that's so crazy, I just had to bring someone with me. We are going to go camping in an abandoned mine. Looks like a lot more elevation gain there. What do you think about elevation gain, crazy neighbor? I'm not liking it. <laughs> <laughs> me neither. These woods, loaded with bears, guaranteed. You can tell just from the way they look. The actual road ends here and it's off on a little trail. We're gonna have a good conversation here in case there is any bears, then we can let them know we're in the area by talking loudly. Hey huh? bears! <laughs> How's it going? 
Oh yeah, you just know there's a bunch in there. Cougars, wolves, the whole bit. It's the real deal, guys. Come on, this is ridiculous. We just gotta get to the end of this big tree, and I think the worst of it's over now. Just like a flight or two of stairs. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's uh, the most serious hike I probably have ever done. That was every bit as hard as I thought it would be. Yeah, well, we made it. <laughs> yeah, they say on all trails that one is easy to moderate. Uh -huh. I'll go with moderate. Okay, we've got our lights. And uh, as always, uh, this is not an example of something to do. Never go into an abandoned mine. Um, I can't explain why we're doing it, but let's do it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah. I think I'll pass on that. I'm gonna pass on that too. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no thanks. damp to sleep in there so we've got to really kind of figure something out yes. because I'm not hiking all the way back down there today <laughs> and you know what? we'll figure out something that we will cheers cheers Steve to a treacherous hike mm-hmm mm. I see yeah that's the rope people go up so not me. no that's a big no for me too uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't think so, Steve. Back to the drawing board here, because I really want to camp in that abandoned mine, not outside of it. But we don't have the cots. What we need is uh, cots to get us up off the ground a little bit. So tonight, I guess we'll just hunker down here. There's some kind of level spots, and. We can do that climb again tomorrow. Well, if we did it once, we can do it twice more. Our crazy neighbor has a really elaborate uh, chair. It's it's really small, but it uh, it's comfy when you get it set up. It's it looks a lot more comfy than mine. <laughs> but, uh, it's okay. in that tiny little bag. Well, you're in style today. You're in yeah, style today. Look at this. I got a tree to put my beer, I guess. Yeah. Quick check of my phone reveals a geocache. Let's go find it. Yeah, let's find it. Is this the smartest thing we could be doing at dusk? Probably not. On a steep hill. First geocache I've ever found. What have we got in there? There's British Columbia collectible pins. Oh, some carabiners, a guest book, so. I'm going to sign the guest book. So you better sign it too. Okay. You helped with the search. Awesome. How about that? First, first geocache. You gonna fall asleep in that chair? I probably could. It's pretty comfy. I'm glad I brought it. As you know, this is only the second time I've ever worn a backpack. And I didn't have a backpack. And I went to a thrift store and they had this backpack there. The only one that they had. It was only 10 bucks. But it's pink. But do I care if it's pink? No. Let's just let it inflate. Just self inflating, right? Oh, yeah. Good. Okay. I'm set. Hunker down? I'm hunkered down. Yeah, look. <laughs> like a bug in a cocoon. That's pretty cozy. It is. You got a nice rock as a backrest. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you won't fall over the edge. 
You got nope, rocks nope, here. Nope, nope. That's no, good. Let him lean up against the rock. All right. Good night, crazy neighbor. Hey, Steve. Sleep with your hat on? Yeah, it keeps bugs out of my eyes. All right. I uh, kind of rolled into the stream, or slid down into the stream with my feet. So, just the bottom couple of inches. The trip down is just humane. Uh, we're not clutching our chests, drenched in sweat, pleading for mercy. Uh, this yeah, is... It's like a walk in the park. So to speak. You ready to do this again? That's well, all right. <laughs> Could be we worse. know what to expect now. Yeah. Okay, we made it for the final time. <laughs> We're not doing that again. Uh, oh, Kelsey. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's ingenious. This one didn't get too wet. There's a little spot here. We keep waiting for one of these stones I step on to be a turtle or an alligator or something. Oh, you're not thinking about it, are you? Not in the least. <laughs> not in the least. We're out. And the most palatable um, of That's all That's a big of them. word. Palatable. Can you spell that? Um, oh, wow. We've got, actually, there's a slug on this one here. Oh. He's, he can't get enough of this. Look at that. <laughs> it's crawled right on there. That's one of your options is the, that one. And then the... With fresh protein. The beef stroganoff with, uh, with no slug. So what would you prefer? Here's your neighbor. I know you want that beef chili mac. I'm sure yeah, of it. I, I really want the beef chili mac. Yeah. But there's a slug on it. Well, it's only a, it's on the outside of the package. I'm not going to eat the slug. I'm not dumping boiling water into a package with a, a poor, helpless, defenseless slug on there. If that slug knew how much salt was in that package, you wouldn't be anywhere near it. <laughs> that slug's not going anywhere. Well, yes, it's just <laughs> he's moving slow. Slugs are like that. Is that his head or his tail? Uh, his head is looking oh, yeah, like... I see. Oh, yeah, he's, he's got those he's, little, little thingies going like this. Yeah, he's yeah. reading the instructions. Um, he's listening to us. He thinks we're going to cook him. Well, if he doesn't get off the package... Yep, three-quarter cup. Oh, look, the slug has turned around. Oh, good. He's made an exit stage left. See you guys in the morning. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Crazy neighbors already up and cracking. Thank you all. We will see you on the next one. Hey guys, welcome to Camping with Steve and this guy, Crazy Neighbor. Uh, disguises are a must today because we're setting up a fake billboard on the side of the highway. Getting harder and harder to find stealth camping spots, so I gotta make my own. You should make your own sign? Yeah. It's gonna work. So that load on the roof looks completely illegal, but it's not. It's uh, eight feet in total width, and we're allowed eight foot six. Eight foot six. We're road drive, here we go. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Woo! Yeah, I agree. A lot of work to go camping, isn't it? How many birds do you want? Two. Two is okay. good. Good, I'll make two for myself as well. Awesome. Cheers, crazy neighbor. Cheers, Steve. Step two. Accomplished. Ooh, flare up. That's good. If you want to get that lid for me, I got you. I'll dump these in. 
-hmm. And I know it sounds silly, like boiled hamburgers, I think somebody commented, and they just turn into like meatloaf. Two more vehicles coming this way, and then we've got about a minute. Okay. Yeah, I can, I can see when it's right up against there. We got, we got fireflies. I see that. Yeah. I see that. Yeah, they're lighting up. How about that? Um, yeah. Okay, this looks odd. Oh, look at all the goodies in here. Pen? Okay, yeah. we'll need that. Yeah. You have to That's sign right. it. And look at all the stuff here. We got some Mickey Mouse stuff. Mini Mouse. And, uh, oh. Oh, wow, this is for killing aliens. It even works. I'm gonna get this a little more exciting. Yeah. A pile of these when you stuff yeah, in there. Yeah. Midnight geocaching makes it harder because it's already so easy to find these camouflage things. All right, now all we have to do is follow the sound of the highway to get home. Okay. Don't need much more in life than this, hey? No, let's just head for the lights. Can I serve you a burg, crazy neighbor? Well, certainly. Uh, what do you prefer? Oh, of course, the one's good. Bet. All of a sudden. Mm. Heavily onion. Yes. Nothing fancy, but it sure hits the spot. Mm -hmm. And it's just that intense onionification of the bird. Onionification, that's a good word. Really makes it. Yeah, it does. You planning on snoring tonight again? Um, I don't snore. I purr. <laughs> and with a full belly and a couple of beers, I'm probably pretty sure I'll be purring heavily. Nothing better than camping on the side of a highway behind a fake billboard. Yeah, it'd be a lull to sleep by all those 18 wheelers. It's not really that much different than living in the city with your window open. Um, <laughs> <laughs> True enough. You know, I say this a lot. Go, 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 go! Perfect grind, <laughs> perfect grind. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe if you like this. And we'll try to keep them interesting. Um, I was out of ideas three years ago, but we somehow, uh, sometimes we can pull it off. Uh, some weeks are boring, but this one was actually kind of fun. So, uh, cheers, uh, stay tuned, and see you guys later. I only told one person where I was camping. I know who this is. Hey, crazy neighbor. I know I mentioned that uh, crazy neighbor had a fall and he broke, uh, broke his femur and like shattered his pelvis a couple of months ago. Went in for surgery. Crazy neighbor. Crazy neighbor, you got new legs. One new leg. You're down to a cane now, that's great. Well, I'll show you what I'm what I'm doing over there. You're good to walk, or? Oh, yeah. All right. You got three legs. <laughs> Didn't happen. Okay. Well. A little slow, but let me get better. Yeah, you're you're walking a lot better than last time I saw. Yeah, I had two crutches last time. Yeah. Yeah. I pretty much uh, given up on the walker. Oh, good. Good, good. Sometimes I uh, still use a crutch, but I'm trying to use the crane and the, the cane as much as possible. Good, good, good. Yeah. You just coming for a if visit, I, or? No, pretty much. If I decide to stay, I'll just sleep in the suburban. Sure, trooper. I taped it all together. It actually holds up pretty yeah, sturdy. Pretty sturdy, yeah. Very much so. It pains me to see you walking around with a cane. Do you like a seat? I think I'll take the picnic table. I think it's easier to stand up in the picnic table. Yeah, you know, you might be right, but... Uh, well, pick your, your choice of the seats. I'm going to just okay. unload some firewood. I'm going to take this one. Okay. Crazy neighbor has decided he's going to stay, so he's just going to pull up in the site beside me here. Oh, those coyotes sound real close, eh? Not really close. Yeah, they're like... They're coming for the fire. Yeah, they're like a few sites over. Guaranteed. It's okay, I got my club. <laughs> what happened with your 
with your hip and your leg for the folks that haven't um, heard yet. Well, technically it was a motorcycle accident. Okay, because you had one before. Yeah, I did, yeah. That you was hit, a few years back. Yeah. You hit a deer. Yeah. But what did you uh, hit this time? This was 100% my fault. Uh -huh. First of all, it was Thursday, Thursday. Okay, speaking of that, hold on, before we get any further. Okay. Um, how about a step two? Yeah. Cheers, Steve. Cheers. So, go on. Okay, it was Thursday, Thursday. It's been a long day. I think we started drinking about noon. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, it was shooter day. Shooter day. Okay, shooter so day. that's. So I can I'm, imagine, yeah. I'd taken my Harley down a medicine hat yeah. to go to a toy run. <clears throat> And it broke down. That's a different story in itself. But anyway, it broke down. So I was down there for a few extra days. And uh, Thursday, Thursday came along. I had my motorcycle in my good friend's garage. And I figured, well, it's here. It's a nice warm garage. I might as well polish it. Yeah. So I'm polishing my Harley. Polishing your hog in his garage. Yeah. 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 Go to walk around the Harley. And I trip over the jiffy stand. Uh -huh. And I fell down and I hit my hip yeah. on the cement floor. I had this little knife here, it's got a little clip on it. Yeah. It was clipped right to the side of my pockets here. And that's what hit the floor first. So all the pressure for me hitting the floor went on to this little bit of square footage. And I broke my, it's actually my femur that I broke. I broke it right where the ball goes into the hip socket. Yeah. So they did surgery. The surgery was six weeks ago today, actually. And uh, it's kind of a medical thing, but they called it... Uh, some sort of gamma long nail. So, and it's, it's pretty ugly. I, I watched a bit of it on a YouTube video and I couldn't watch it. But anyway, they, they cut me open in three places. One by my knee, one here, and one right up by my, by my hip. And they took this long rod and put it right through the center of my femur. Oh. You got a reamer about that long. And of course, oh. I'm knocked right out. I okay, I don't know. I but anyway, Don't need the, the, the surgery was all good. Now I got these great big pins in my leg. Oh, yeah. But, uh, I'm recovering fine. Oh, that's good. And that, you think, like, the knife clipped on? Well, that changes That changes transferred the, the, all the weight well, and yeah, the energy? Well, yeah, per square inch. The one that you just clipped right back onto the same No, hip? I put it right in the bottom of my pocket this oh, okay. time. okay. <laughs> but uh, I was wearing jeans, and the jeans have a high pocket like this. So yeah, that's they do. Yeah. right where it was. And when the ambulance guy guys came, they, they want to take my pants off to see uh, how crooked my leg was, where it was mm -hmm. broken. And uh, the guy pulled the knife out of the pocket and he said, this didn't do you any good. So he mentioned it to the surgeon and the surgeon said, oh yeah, yeah, it definitely made a difference. So you wouldn't have had that in your pocket, you'd have probably been badly bruised, mm -hmm. but you wouldn't be looking at what you're looking at now. She's bubbling good. That is looking like a good soup to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that the bay leaf? Oh, you found it. <laughs> there we go. And that will She's in the fire. keep the bears away. <laughs> this will be a crackle. I'll fix your bowl. Be awesome. That looks like clutch. Let me get you a little over there. Yeah. It's grabbed by the. Oh, you got gloves on. I came prepared. There you go. Fresh baked bread. Oh, much easier with a little bit of light here. Okay, yeah. Let's, uh, crazy neighbor's pillow. We're going to get him into his uh, suburban here. Coyotes are going nuts. I just want to be sure he's actually set up here comfortably. I'm set up here. I know, but I just want to be sure. Yeah, I'll turn the lights on here. He's broken some bones and and there's wolves out there. Oh, that's pretty fancy. Yeah. Yeah. Orange is a foamy there. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Nope. Ah! Just fine in there. I got my 
computer there. My cell phone set to a Wi-Fi hotspot. I'm good to go. Okay. I'm gonna yeah. come back out to the fire for a bit. I just want to get everything together here. Okay. Well, let's go. Back, <laughs> back to the coyote infested fire. <laughs> All right. Like I should be breaking trail for you here. Okay. Let me just. Normally I'd be walking with my crutch, but in the dark like this, with uneven ground, I'd rather just use these instead of the cane. This is great. Crazy neighbor came out. Crazy neighbor is warming up his suburban, which is great because there's definitely not enough room in here for the two of us, and it'd be very weird. Um, so he'll hunker down there. I I do worry that he's pushing himself too much, walking around after such an injury. Thankfully, he didn't have to get a hip replacement, uh, but. Still, I worry, so I'm keeping an eye on him. You left your cane over here. Morning, crazy neighbor. Morning, Steve. You sleep good? Yeah, pretty good. See, if I knew Crazy Neighbor was coming, I wouldn't have had to strap all the stuff onto the roof of my car. <laughs> yeah.